what I'm doing right now is wiring up the lights on these uh, mud flat brackets if you're going to do a lot of wiring or if you're dealing with a lot of trucks you might as well go ahead and get a set of wires like that I'll drop a link in the description for that in case you want to get one now I got these LED lights I'll also leave a link in the description for them you got the rubber grommets you could either use rubber grommets or they have the metal ones the chrome ones with the screw holes in it you could also use those then what you're gonna need is some um, wire protectors and the plugs these plugs go on the back of the lights already run the wire through here it's a hole in the bottom you push the wire up in there and I run it come out to here the very first one I'll put all the way to the end and I went ahead and cut all these wires off these exposed wires because I don't need um, I don't need them ground gonna be this gray one right here and that will be going to the white and the reason I'm doing it like that on your truck the wires might be different but I'm just continuing from how the previous owner have it wired up these connectors I'm using these are really for three wires or if you're just splicing into one wire but I'm using them for this because I got a lot of them and that's all it is to it the black go to black and the red go to red And these wires I'm using, these are 14 gauge wires. Just push the wire through. If it's hard to go through, you just um. If it's hard to go through, you just open open this a little bit, and it'll go through there. That's all it is to it. Oh, 
Another thing, when you're buying these wire protectors, make sure you buy the one with the cut in it. It's a lot easier. It's a lot easier to um, pull the wire through than these without the cut in it. this one the ground the white the ground that's why I have this circle connector on there You want to upgrade your lights on the back of your tractor put on a chrome mud flat bracket some uh, led lights this basically how you're going to do it the led lights you get the plugs on it might be different from your regular factory light or if somebody had um If somebody had changed the lights before, it might be different. If you put on this, you don't put on right, it's fairly easy to take it off. It's fairly easy to take it off and put a new one on it.
so I had to fix that one the black wasn't connected so I had to redo push your wire to, uh, too far like this one because that could be a um that could be a hazard could catch your truck on fire or cause your wire your lights to short up and you're wondering why your lights not working right sometimes it's hard to find small problems like that So when I do it, I try not to push the wire that far up. So that's how you connect all three of them.
if you need a part number for this is GRO 92420-3 that's um that's the aftermarket part number so you could google that number up and it'll show you these rubber grommets right here GRO 9242 is another number you could google up to find them These LED lights part number is G6002 And they'll have a sign on there to your top. That way you know which way to put it. That's it now. I'm gonna wire these up. A test light. You always have a test light. That way you could test the wires before you wire them up. Make sure um, you're wiring up the correct light to the correct place. these wires up a little longer than I need it to be that way if I need to um, later on down the line if I have any wire problem I need to cut wire off it's not too short
so we'll try that see if these working I have the middle section but I'm not going to do that today that'll be a separate video So there we have it, got everything working. On this side I still have the mud flap to put on. And when you put on mud flaps, I recommend you get either the just the um the reflective tape by itself or this piece of aluminum with a reflective tape on it. And then you could just put the bolt through it when you go to put on your mud flap bracket. Catch the next video, you'll see the middle section when I put the middle section off.